Welcome all. So today we are going to learn the unit 6 called as searching sorting hashing out of which we are going to understand the lesson 1 that's called as hashing. So today we are going to understand what do you mean by hashing, how to perform the hashing and which are the methods of the hashing that we have in our syllabus. So let's try to understand first of all what do we mean by hashing that's the definition of hashing. Hashing has various definitions out of which some of the definitions I have written here. So first is it's a process of transforming any given key into another value. So we have some key that we have to transform into some other value so that the value can be stored somewhere and that storage is called as the hash table. So the process of doing that that is transforming key into another value is also called as the hashing. Now let's look at the another definition of hashing. It's one of the searching technique that uses the constant time that is big O of n. So we have already seen some of the searching techniques that is the linear search and binary search. Now it's your job to find out what is the complexity of linear search and binary search. Definitely it's not big O of 1. So I give you the task to find out what was the complexity of linear search and what was the complexity of binary search. But definitely the complexity of hashing is very less as compared to the linear search and binary search and that is big O of 1. Now in hashing technique the hash table is used and the hash functions are used. So whenever we are storing the key, the storage inside which the key is stored is basically called as the hash table and the function which transforms the key into the value is basically called as the hash function. So below you can see we have written using the hash function we can calculate the address at which the value can be stored inside the for example the address at which the value will be stored will be called as the index inside the hash table and how the index will be calculated as index is equal to hash function over the key where the key is the actual key that we want to store inside the hash table while the index is the index at which the corresponding key will be stored inside the hash table. Now let's look at the example. Now let's look at the corresponding formula in detail. So function which maps the given key into a hash table index is called as the hash function. So that's the definition of hash function. Now in order to understand let's say let k be the key and h of x will be the hash function. Then we can say that h of k that is the hash function over the key will give me the i where i is nothing but the index at which the corresponding key will be stored inside the hash table. So that is how we can basically define the hash function in terms of the mathematical formula. Now let's try to understand the hashing visually. Now here you can see there are basically three keys available. That's a key 1, key 2 and key 3. Now these three keys are given to the hash function and hash function will calculate us the indices at which the corresponding keys will be stored or the values will be stored. As you can see the hash function calculates the first index as a 0 at which the value 1 is stored. Then the second, the index call calculated as index 2 where the value 3 will be stored and the index 3 where the value 4 will be stored. Now based upon the key, the hash function performs some mathematical operations and based on that it calculates the hash values which are nothing but the indices at which the corresponding values will be stored inside the hash table. Now, if I want to perform the searching operation, we have to perform the same hash function on the key and we can find out the corresponding value from the hash table with the complexity of big O of n. Now, let's try to understand the real example. So, how we perform the hashing in order to find out the index of the value inside the hash table. Now here you can see we have a different input values. Now we have a hash table of size 7. As you can see the indices are starting from 0. We have the indices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are total 7 indices 
we have starting from 0 to 6. Now, since the size of the hash table is 7, we are performing x mod 7 as a hash function where x is nothing but the input value that we are going to see, that we are going to store. Now, we are going to store the value x inside the hash table. So, that's why we are performing the hash function x mod 7 which will give us the hash keys which are nothing but the indices and below you can see in the table the examples are given. So, first input value that I want to store inside the hash table is 7. So, 7 mod 7 will give me the hash key as a 0. So, 7 will be stored at the index 0 here. Then the next input value I want to store is 16. So, 16 mod 7 will give me the hash key as 2. So, as you can see the 16 is stored in the hash table at the index 2. Similar to that you can see 33, 33 mod 7 that is the size of the hash table will give me the index as 5 and hence the 33 is stored at the index 5 and same will happen with the rest of the values. Now, let us try to understand which types of hash functions are there. So, we have seen the hash function which performs the modulo by the hash table size. So, there are different methods through which we can perform the hash function. So, first is called as the division method. The next type of hash function is called as the mid square method. The next type of function is called as the folding method and then we have the multiplication method. So, let us try to understand how these particular methods will help us to find out the hash values or how these hash functions will work. So, first type that we have already seen is called as the division method. So, division method is the simplest and the easiest method used to generate the hash value. In this hash function, the value k is divided by m where m is nothing but the size of the hash table and whatever the remainder is obtained, that remainder is used as the index in order to store the value inside the hash table. So, the formula is nothing but h of k, that is the hash function over the key is equal to k mod m, where k is equal to key and m is the, nothing but the size of the hash table. Now, the next type of method is basically called as the mid square method. So, this particular step involves the computing of hash function that includes the squaring of the value of the key that is the value of k just like k into k and we have to extract the value of middle r digit. So, suppose if we have the value as 15 then the 15 square will be 225 and I will extract the middle digit 2 that will be acting as an index to store the value key. 15. So, formula is equal to h of k is nothing but h of k into k where h is nothing but the hash function and key is not, k is nothing but the key value. The next type of method is basically called as the folding method where k is nothing but the key which is divided into sub parts like k1, k2, k3 up to kn. This might be the digits or this might be the group of digits. Now, these subparts are added together. So, formula will be k is equal to k1, k2, k3, k4 up to kn and we are calculating the corresponding s that is nothing but the addition of part of keys that is k1 plus k2 plus k3 plus k4 up to kn. For example, if the key is 1, 2, 3, 4, then I am performing the addition of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which will give me 1 plus 2 as 3, 3 plus 3 as 6 and 6 plus 4 as 10 that is nothing but 10 will be the index value at which the corresponding key 1, 2, 3, 4 will be stored. So, that is how the folding method will work for the hashing. Now, the next point that we are going to understand is basically called as the hash collision. So, whenever the same hash value is provided for two different input values by the hash algorithm, there is supposed to be called as the hash collision. So, hash collision occurs when the two different values gives the same hash value by using the same kind of hash function. 
सो दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन इज नॉर्मल ना कोलिजन ऑकर बिकॉज ऑफ डिफरेंट हैशिंग टेक्निक्स इन द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर कन्वर्ट एवरी इनपुट इन टू द फिक्स लेंथ ऑफ द कोड रिगार्डलेस ऑफ इट्स लेंथ सो सच काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन इज एज अ सेड इज अ नॉर्मल एंड देर आर डिफरेंट वेज टू अवॉइड द कोलिजन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर थैंक यू